Hey bees, I'm Marie from Humble Bee and Me, and today we're making this oh so gorgeous Sleepy Time Lavender and Benzoin Lotion. This is sort of my riff on a popular Lush product. I've had a lot of requests for a DIY version of this, so that's what we're making today. If you're interested in seeing how this formula came together from the original list of ingredients from Lush, please check out the video that I released a couple days ago. I go through the entire list from them and then we break it down and talk about how to create a recipe from there and I think it's pretty useful. So if that's something that interests you, uh, make sure to check it out. I'll link to it in the description box below. So this lotion is called Sleepy Time because the wonderful scent of lavender is said to be soothing and to help you fall asleep. And we've complemented that with some sweet vanilla-like benzoin for a really, really lovely blend. The lotion itself is, as you can see, quite thick and creamy and really lovely, though I don't find it to be really heavy or greasy at all, which is nice. Um, and so that is in part because of the size of our oil phase, which is 23.75%, and in part because I've included some stearic acid, which lends a wonderful sort of creamy thickness to the final product. Our water phase focuses on oats and lavender with lavender hydrosol, hydrolyzed oat protein, and a touch of colloidal oats for a really lovely, soothing, moisturizing lotion. The original product is a lovely soft shade of sort of a lavendery purple, and so I've added a touch of mica to this to uh, riff on that as well. That part's completely optional. You don't need to make it purple and sort of, as you can see, it doesn't make your skin purple. It's just purple in the container. <laughs> If you have questions about substitutions or where to buy ingredients or equipment, please go down to the description box and click through to this recipe on my blog on humblebeeandme.com. So you'll find the full recipe written out there, all the amounts and the instructions. You'll find information on scaling and a ton of information on substitutions so that you can have that information you're just right at your fingertips whenever you need it and you don't have to wait to hear back from me. All right, let's go make this gorgeous sleepy time lavender and benzamin lotion. We shall try our best not to fall asleep in it. We'll begin by getting our water phase and our oil phase all combined. So in here, this is a 250 milliliter Pyrex glass measuring cup. We have 55 grams of distilled water and to that we're going to add 20 grams of lavender hydrosol, two grams of hydrolyzed oat protein, one gram of colloidal oatmeal, and two grams of vegetable glycerin. For our oil phase, we have 4.75 grams of polo wax, 10 grams of almond oil, two grams of cocoa butter, five grams of jojoba oil, and two grams of stearic acid. Up next, we're going to pop each of these measuring cups in a water bath. So this is a wide flat bottom saute pan that has about an inch or three centimeters of water in the bottom of it. And I'm going to go put this on the stove top over medium heat for about half an hour to melt everything through and to get everything to the same temperature. After about half an hour, you can remove your measuring cups from your water bath and set the water bath aside. We won't need that anymore. And we wanna add our water part to our oil part. And I love how you can see the emulsion starting to form already as it gets white and creamy. So now we're going to grab our immersion blender and we're going to have to start with some quick short bursts before working up to a full blend because if we go straight in for a full blend, this is just gonna fly everywhere. All right, I've been blending that for about two minutes, so I'm gonna let the lotion continue to cool and come back and blend it to some more. It's still very hot. All right, it has been 10 minutes. You can see it's starting to separate a little bit there on the top and it has cooled down quite a bit, but it's still pretty warm. So give this another good blending. Well, that's looking pretty good, but uh, it's definitely still really warm, so I'm gonna leave it to cool down for another 10 or 15 minutes. So it's been another 10 minutes, warm, but not hot anymore. All right, well, that's looking lovely and luscious, and it's only ever so slightly warm, so I'm going to leave it to finish cooling while I go take my dog for a walk. All right, this is all nice and cool and has taken on an absolutely gorgeous, luscious, thick consistency, which is just what we wanted. So now we can get our cool down ingredients ready. So we're gonna measure these out on a smaller, more precise scale into a little dish since all the amounts we need are 
pretty tiny. So of course we'll need our preservative. I'm using Liquid Dermal Plus and we'll need half a gram. We're going to need 0.1 gram of vitamin E, half a gram of benzoin resinoid, and 0.1 gram of lavender essential oil. And the original had a bit of color, so we're going to add some of this beautiful sort of pale purple, cool, like cool kind of lavender colored mica from TKB and we need about a quarter gram of that. So to incorporate this, we're going to stir a bit of lotion into our cool down ingredients and then transfer that back into our main vessel. This helps us sort of make sure that we're getting it, getting as much of it <laughs> out of the little dish as possible since especially the preservative and the vitamin E are rather viscous and so you can leave quite a lot behind I find if you don't do this. Looking pretty good, eh? So we're gonna pop it in our container. One of these seemed fitting. This is a 100 milliliter screw top plastic jar from Yellow Bee. And there you go. You just made a beautiful sleepy time benzoin and lavender lotion. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and do remember to go down to the description box below this video for the full written recipe and the links to this recipe on my blog where you'll find links to all of the ingredients and equipment I used and information on scaling and substitutions. Thanks again and I'll see you next time.